Hey, Internet people. Jason Heath here from DoubleBaseBlog.org, bringing you some of the best stories from the blog this week. Okay, we made a couple changes to the blog, so uh, check it out. You can see here we've got some network with us business. If you want to find me on Facebook or MySpace, I don't really use MySpace that much. I find it uh, annoying and lame for the most part, but you can find me there anyway. No offense to people who like MySpace. Uh, delicious Flickr, YouTube, Twitter, all sorts of stuff, and you're getting my microblogging updates here at the top too. Eh, everything else is pretty much the same. We made a couple of other tweaks, so I hope you enjoy it. So, some of the new stories this week. Uh, Pete Tambroni, who's one of our regular contributors, you can see him here with uh, uh, Miroslav Gaidosh, one of the great uh, Czech bass players, and Miroslav is playing Pete's Romano bass right there, sort of checking it out. Pete looks very intent about that, so that's cool. Uh, Pete's contributed a lot of posts for us over the last few months, and he wrote two posts that I think are pretty interesting. One is about what to do if you have a student who's on a bass that's simply too big, and they just can't get a better size bass. So this person that wrote in, actually, I have a sneaking suspicion is one of my former students, so that's pretty cool. Um, anyway, this person writes, I've run into a problem with a fourth grade student, thought you might have had a similar experience. The student's really excited to learn the bass, but the school only has a half size bass available. And he really needs to be on a quarter size or maybe even smaller. So in order to get the first and half positions in a good spot, he has to hold the bass in an odd way that hinders him from properly bowing the E string and the A string and vice versa. So if you have any recommendations, they'd be greatly appreciated. He doesn't want to see him get frustrated and stop playing. Totally, yeah. Uh, so Pete replies, and this happens a lot in school settings. Sometimes you just have to deal with it, which is not the best solution. But Pete has a few thoughts. And I think this is great because I've run into this with students a lot. There's just something that that's just the way the bass is going to be, and they either have to play it, or they uh, <laughs> they aren't going to be uh, an orchestra. So Pete says, spend some time in each lesson playing j pits, which makes sense. Then you don't have to worry about the bow. Now spend some time just bowing, so you can hold the heel of the neck with the left hand and work on bowing. I emphasize that we're not doing this perfectly, but it's not your fault. So students tend to understand and adjust. And when the time comes and they either get a better bass or they just grow big big enough to play the other bass. Pete also mentions a really great book called Practical Studies by Thomas Gale. And so this book is is excellent. I've after hearing about it from Pete, I've checked it out too, and I'm I'm definitely a fan. Um this has a lot of exercises up in fourth position around the neck block. So this alleviates the left hand issues and it allows you to bow correctly too. And now Pete also says, if the end pin's removable, take it completely out. That'll lower the base another inch or so. And don't be afraid to do thumb position stuff, harmonics especially. So anyway, I think that's great advice. Very cool stuff from Pete. Pete also wrote a post about some really just terrible basses out there, these Char basses, these Hoffman basses. And I agree, they're just nasty, nasty little things. Uh, and they're a real contrast to the Shen line of basses. So Pete has a rant about that over on his site. Let's just go take a quick look at that rant here. See, Pete has all sorts of rants. See, uh, Char music problems. Um, he's had a terrible experience with Shar music and school purchases many instruments and Shar is just being major jerks about that. You can check this out. I'll put a link to this in the, in the notes here. So, um, so that's pretty cool. And then Pete also has a whole bunch of pictures of this nasty, nasty warped fingerboard on this Hoffman bass. And, you know, sometimes you get a deal on a bass that maybe is like, 10, 20% cheaper, but then you get something like this and it completely negates and then some the cost of the base. So it's a good thing to think about. Okay, now I'd like to talk just a little bit about the YouTube Symphony. If you're not familiar with this, it, unfortunately, the auditions, which you would send a recording, they're closed now. They closed a couple days ago, but it's 
they're going well, there's going to be kind of an American Idol type process where people vote on the favorite entries over February and in March winners are going to be announced and in April there's going to be a big event at Carnegie Hall and what I've been doing is I've just really gotten into this recently watching some of the videos and and the audition videos are posted online and the idea is you go and watch them and see what you think so i'm posting them over at doublebaseblog.org so let's just and now these are supposed to be anonymous so i don't know who this fellow is but this is a recording of him playing the third movement of dittersdorf so let's check this out <laughs> Yeah, it's funny because it looks like his bass, it might just be the light. It looks like kind of a, it almost looks like kind of like a cheaper bass, but he really sounds good on this. So um, it's probably just the light. It's just some funky lighting, it looks like. You can see that over over right here. Anyway, very cool. And we're going to have more of these over at doublebassplug.org. Okay, we're just going to end these segments. I'm going to try to keep these things short and sweet. We're going to end with a little bit of L'Orchestra de Contrabasse fantastic group and this is one of my favorite pieces that they do called bass 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 i think uh anyway this is a little music video style thing we'll close out with a couple minutes of this and we'll see you soon for more baseblog tv